Fish It Up is brought to you by Interstate Bait Premium Sunflower Seeds, Chase Outdoors, JT Outdoor Products, Northwoods Beard Company, and Brush Pile Fish Attractants. Swan is pretty nice. down into a bag. Just unbelievable, and the new meat sticks. Um, I used last uh, the past couple of years. I've used the Dave Gens uh, 28 inch meat stick, which is more, which is a little more uh, stable at the end. Mm -hmm. But this right here, most definitely for your panfish, for your light, for your light bite, your perch, your sunnies. You know, it might be a little bit too intense for the for the sunnies, but uh, right. I would take this crappie fishing any day of the week on Lake of the Woods. Sure. But, once again, we're into the walleyes on Lake of the Woods in this 36-inch Great Lake series. Ross Robertson rod is what I jig with nonstop. You can put your blade spoons on there. You can put your, uh, your leech lake flutter spoons. You can yeah. throw your, your X, double XL drops on there. And you still have great sensitivity within the rod. It's very light. Just great action. Like I said, I also took this lake trout fishing last year and, and caught many lake trout over 30 inches on this rod and uh, had no problems with it. Didn't have to, uh, it, did, it wasn't underpowered. Right. And sometimes when you get an underpowered rod, you're virtually just trying to make it yeah. back here and right here. Yeah. 
I love this rod. This is my favorite uh, walleye slash lake trout rod right there. Sweet. All right, guys, uh, Chris Brandrud here, Clam Outdoors. I'm in the, in the, the booth here with Clam, and it's the St. Paul 20th uh, anniversary show. Absolute chaos down here. So, so you're going to have to listen to me over everybody else. In fact, we've got uh, this guy in here, Gary Parsons, is inside the, the house that I want to show. But this is the X200. So this used to be the X2 house and morphed into the 200. And what we've did here is we basically put a little bit more fishable space in this house. This is the house that I run through Rainy Days. Guys, real heavy fabric here. So this is 1,800 a year fabric. So it's going to be one of the warmest houses in the fishing market. And also going to be very, very durable. So lots of fishing room, um, real warm house. If you look at the poles here, I won't jump in and take Gary's space there. But that is a, what's called a rapid pole slide extreme. So if I grab this, just have, it's really what I call a gloves on operation. So it doesn't have that old push pin design. You can actually grab that and actually, you know, extend your house is super, super easy. So uh, 1,800 deniers, it's got a light bar that's cut in there. It's got a tub, real heavy duty, and it what we call is a co-extruded co plastic uh, that has a real light um, exterior here. So if you drop anything in the bottom of your house, you can see it. Uh, so real usable house, uh, real warm, and super durable. A lot of our trips are running like maybe 25 miles one way. So uh, we find out if the house is going to make it usually in one season. So hope you know, check this out. Come down to the St. Paul Show and check all the stuff out. This is one house of many. So uh, Chris Grant with Clam Outdoors. Fun being with you guys. Good morning and thank you for attending the Sample Exhibition of the British Girls Club. Be sure to check out the other ones on the screen. We're all going to hang on with another couple of oh, you're two, two seconds. Yep, no problem. I just brought a key drop. Hi there, everybody. Hey, it's Joe Henry with Lake of the Woods Tourism. Say, I, I thought I'd just give you a kind of a preview of Lake of the Woods fishing this summer winter. You know, um, normally our day houses get out right around mid December. And this year, with the wind, you know, big cheese of ice blowing around, a little bit of open water. So we, we anticipate mid December is when our day houses will go out. Then typically, about a week or two after that, our sleeper fish houses get out. Uh, things are shaping up about the same time frame. You know, when you come up to Lake of the Woods, one of the cool things is, I tell you, Lake of the Woods can be intimidating because it's such big water and there's so many resorts to choose from. We actually have about 60 different resorts and lodging properties to choose from. You know what? A lot of times coming up and staying with a resort and just going out in one of their day houses, as long as you get hooked up with a resort or a sleeper fish house business, all you have to do is drive there and they'll take care of the rest. Uh, I can tell you that uh, in the fall assessment with walleyes and stalkers, the assessment was very, very strong with a very strong population, so our ice fishing is shaping up very positively. If you want to find out more about fishing Lake of the Woods, check out our website. It's lakeofthewoodsmn.com. Ask your bearded friends where they get their favorite beard balms and beard oils, and they will tell you Northwoods Beard Company. Our products are handcrafted right here in Wisconsin with all natural, locally sourced ingredients. Whether it's beard balm, beard oil, or our amazing beard wash, our products will have your beard looking fantastic in no time. Northwoods Beard Company. Tame your man made. Make your beard Northwoods strong. inside the houses. Mm -hmm. uh, the main reason for doing that is uh, while reducing the weight of the houses this year by 400 pounds, uh, we also increased the gross vehicle weight rating of the axles. So the houses weigh less and can carry more. So we put bigger doors in the back of our toy haulers and that accommodates your UTVs safely to go sure. down the road. Um, the height 
it accommodates that larger door and uh, basically you can fit a big machine in here, a heavy machine. Mm -hmm. um, some of our houses, uh, UTVs, ATVs with tracks, a um, couple of Harleys. I think our biggest gross is uh, carrying capacity is about 2,800 pounds. Okay. So, and that's a 17 foot tandem house. Yeah. yeah. Uh, also this year we've changed the, if you want to come outside. Yeah. On our single axle houses, we've got two uh, straps. Uh, they operate more smoothly than the previous cables, in that the cable used to jump over itself. Um, the strap will smoothly go up and down. Uh, replacement straps are very cheap, uh, but we have tested them for two years prior to the launch, and they don't show any line anywhere after two years of use. So um, we're pretty confident in those, and they do operate really nicely. Uh, you'll see we put plastic, uh, rotational molded plastic as opposed to welded plastic we were doing before. Uh, it gives it a cleaner appearance, but also these are more easily replaceable. If something damages it, you hit a rock or sure. something. So uh, that's a nice upgrade. The single axle is now 5,280 5, pound gross vehicle weight rating. Uh, so again, even an 8x16 manual house has a lot of carrying capacity it didn't have before. Mm -hmm. uh, if you come inside, We have kind of a, a drape here that shows the size of a Polaris Ranger XP 1000. Uh, it fits nicely. There's about an inch uh, to the floor, and you'll see it'll clear the bed very, very easily. So, uh, bring your toys with. Uh, that's a big advantage, but also when you're in the other houses with the height advantage, uh, when you're in the bunk, you don't feel so claustrophobic with the higher ceilings. Right. So, yeah. Um, another change this year. Our uh, corners went from being cosmetic tread bright to being a structural member for the house. Um, that added 25% rigidity to the house. Uh, they were already very, very strong, sturdy houses. Five-year warranty on that structure uh, continues this year as well. But this is uh, adding a lot of strength to the houses as well. So we're very confident that uh, the machines you're using in these, it'll handle it safely and accommodate just about anything you've got. So. We have a few new models this year as well. Uh, last year we had the tandem axle hydraulic, but we have a single axle hydraulic this year on a 17 foot. Uh, we also have a 17 foot uh, tandem, which has the most carrying capacity. Sure. Um, we have half baths and full baths. Uh, last year we didn't have the half bath option. Um, the half bath will offer you uh, more sleeping space for, for people without the shower. So the thought there is, if you're on a campground or something, you have showers available to you. You wake up in the middle of the night, you can still use the bathroom. You don't wake up in the middle of the night and need to take a shower. So, yeah. Um, so the half baths have been popular, but uh, the full baths for people off the grid, not at the campgrounds, is a nice option still. Right. Um, yeah, fiberglass on the roofs is how we lighten the house. We also change the insulation in the floor. Um, that's at 400 pounds. Uh, that's on an 8x16, so even more on a 21 foot mount. Like I say, more capable, lighter, better axle, better frame. Uh, we really, uh, we're calling it kind of our Generation 2 model. We've been doing it since 2009 pretty much the same way. Uh, we've totally changed it up this year. We, we talk to our dealers regularly, they get customer feedback, we listen, we try to deliver what people want. So, sure. Yeah. All right. But, yeah, a lot of changes this year. <laughs> yeah, no, it sounds good.
Change, I would change to round holder. Yeah, I would change. I saw that. I would change that. Uh, hey guys, uh, Chris Granard here with JT Outdoors. We're down here in a, pretty much a chaotic booth here. As you can see, it's going to be pretty tough to, to uh, get in here. We're clearly outgrowing our space. Uh, clearly outgrowing the space here. But um, a lot of really, really exciting things with our rods. Uh, we can go through the entire product lineup. But once again, you know, one of the main features with the JT rods, you have a pure carbon blank and you can have a really highly engineered rod. So uh, this is an example we've got here. We've got our, our shiver stick. So real, real nice, pure curvature within the rod. Um, you know, come check them out. We've got really good staff guys here at the show that are gonna do a great job in explaining our rods. Um, a lot of the rods are gonna be technique specific. So one of the things that we yield a lot is uh, I want a rod that's going to be good for perch and crappies and walleyes and trout or whatever it may be. That's probably not one rod. So what happens is a lot of times when you're looking for a rod to do multiple things, it ends up not doing anything very well. So um, I'm going to kind of, we're just going to mill right through this. We're just going to fudge around. This guy looks big. We're not going to jam through him too hard. Um, but clearly one of the most, uh, probably one of the hottest products in the whole industry is our snare rod. So, uh, the snare rod was really developed uh, by Gary Parsons, Akeem Tobias, Chase Parsons, and they really developed a new fishing system. So beyond the rod itself, what this is designed to do is designed to be used as a second rod. So it's not your jig stick. So this would have really, really slow action if you were jigging with it. And trying to set the hook would be really not very, very, uh, very good at all. So, but in using a remote setting, uh, the snare rod is going to be a very, very soft tip. So when it comes to crappies, uh, perch, bluegills, they really can't detect that real, real soft feel in the rod. And they slowly, slowly start to fade away with it. And they end up fading to a point that they think that it's going to be free, their home run, and all of a sudden they pin, and they end up pinning themselves on this rod here. So this is the panfish snare. There's also a walleye snare. A very common question we get is, uh, well, I want a rod that can uh, be used for the walleyes and, and the crappies, and, and the fact of the matter is, typically speaking, um, the panfish snare is going to be a little light for walleyes. You can clearly hook one, uh, but it's going to be a little bit tough to handle a big walleye on a panfish snare. And then the walleye snare might be just a little bit too heavy, um, and, and sometimes those crappies will actually dump that bait. So uh, JT Outdoor Products, um, really high-end rods, technique-specific rods. Come check us out. If you can get yourself into the booth, it's absolutely jam-packed here. Um, but we've got something for you, and um, you know, definitely check out with our staff. They'll really want to define what it is you're looking for. So um, another example would be like if you're looking for something for panfish. If you're using microplastics, 
you probably want to utilize our integral spring bobber. And, uh, but if you're using spoons, you probably want to use a panhandle without the spring bobber just to work that bait effectively. So it's really important for us that you've got the right rod for what you're trying to do. So Chris Grand with JT Outdoor Products. That was way more information than you wanted, uh, but hopefully it gave you a little idea about our deal, and we certainly uh, look forward to talking with you. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed the St. Paul Ice Fishing Expo for 2017. Uh, it was a great time seeing all the guys that uh, you know. Typically, we don't you know we don't see every day. Uh, it's kind of the once a year meeting. It's good to get some insight on some stuff. Uh, you know, don't hesitate to give any of these guys a call. Uh, really nice people. You know, talking fishing, talking hockey with whoever. Uh, it was awesome. I had uh, JP sign that card of him from uh, his professional days in the East Coast Hockey League. Uh, you know, pretty cool. He was taken back by that. He had a Lake of the Woods Outdoorsman sweatshirt for me, so it was all good there. Uh, you know, stocked up on the JT rods. Uh, got the Strike Master from Marine General, and it was actually a hundred bucks cheaper than anywhere else for four forty nine. Can't go wrong with that. But uh, just gonna head to Cabela's in Woodbury on the way home. Go Badgers! Get to the championship. Later. Fish it up.